How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Professor's Garage. Today I'm talking about these two flashlights here. This is a Coleman flashlight. And that's what I know about it. <laughs> and then this is a Phoenix E12. Um, doing this because I've had this for about three months now. My dad gave it to me for my birthday. And I've had this for years. And I wanted to go ahead and cover them both in one video because it made sense to me. So let's go ahead and go over this one first because I've had it longer. And yeah. So this was the first flashlight that I had picked out for an everyday carrier EDC flashlight. I got it at like a Walmart. And this is actually the second one I had. I had one of these. It was in silver. And I took it to Brazil and let someone borrow it. And I never got it back. Um, <clears throat> I let them borrow it because it was getting close to nighttime, and their, basically their water main had broken, and this is a waterproof flashlight, and I was using, holding the flashlight for them, and then I had to go, and gave it to them, and a day or two later went back, and they had lost it, or something like that. But, <clears throat> then I bought this one, as so soon as chance I got and my goals today are to not knock the uh, tripod and to try and keep things relatively center frame. <laughs> so, I really like this flashlight a lot. And so I bought a second one, a replacement, as soon as I found one. Um, I like how the button is on the end. And it's almost flush. I prefer a flush or a slightly recessed button. And I hate hate the twist-ons. Oh my goodness, I hate the twist-ons. Um, we'll talk about the two flashlights and then we'll turn off the lights to see some light around in frame and stuff. But this one you can see a little bit with the light on. I'll show it better with the light off. But I really like how this flashlight, it has a very clear circle of light. There is very little that goes beyond this clear-cut circle. I think that's really cool because it, in the dark, it is really very clean. And I think it has to do with that lens there. Um, as you saw, it does take three AAA batteries. And it is kind of large to carry it every day in your pocket. I never really carried this on the daily in my pocket just because it is fairly chunky. And, I don't know, I just never felt I need to carry a flashlight that much until recently. Um, and I've kept this in a car generally is where I've had it, just for any case of emergency kind of thing. Um, yeah, but I really like this flashlight. It was really cheap. It... I don't... I. I took a look on the Coleman website, and this is not on there. Um, again, this flashlight's like nine years old. I've had this longer than I've been married, pretty sure. And this is nine or ten years old. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that these are the batteries I put in. These might be the second set of batteries. No, I think these might be the first set of batteries I put in this flashlight. As you can see how much use it's got. I didn't use it a lot. Here is a number. I don't know if that's actually in focus. Woohoo. Autofocus is actually doing its job. Go ahead and check out that number if you want. But it works. It's a flashlight. It lights things up. Um, I haven't used it a lot recently. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pause on this one. And step over to this. Phoenix E12. Like I said, my dad got this for me for my birthday. It was roughly three months ago. And this one has a variable light, and the battery is dying. I have been using it frequently over the last three months. Yeah, it is a variable and adjustable light, but right now I was off. Cool. Battery died on camera, I think. But, 
let's get this changed so you can see it. This is my ideal battery power source for a flashlight, a single AA battery. And I did not tell my dad before he got me this. I didn't even say I was looking into flashlights or anything like that. He just sent me a flashlight out of the blue, which is wonderful. Alright, super simple change of battery as you can see. There, it's working again. So, with the lights on and I have the ring light and I have an overhead light and I have another overhead light, so... But, rear button activation, like this one. Um, I'll check here in a second to see if it's waterproof or not. I got all the deets right there. But this has a clip on it, and it's one of the S-shaped clips, so you can slip it onto a ball cap, you know. You can slip it on. Either way, but you get the idea. Um, I have not put it on a ball cap yet, but I have clipped this to my collar on my work jacket to hold the light when I needed it. <laughs> and the clip does rotate around as well. It is removable. I have not removed it. This is a really tight clip. I tried very briefly to remove it just because I like to explore things. This rear button is... It's partially flush and partially proud because it does have these two guards that go over it, but the si other sides are... make it proud. I do like this button. It has... Full press for activation, turn on and off, and do a half press to increase the lumens. As those three settings, let me check what they are. Okay, so we have five lumens. There's five lumens again, half press for 30 lumens, and then another half press for 160 lumens. And then, there's a little diagram. If you use the 160, you get about an hour. If you use the 30 or 32, you get about 10 hours. And if you use the 5 lumens, you get what is that? about probably 90 hours or so. Because it does skip quite a bit there. Um, but yeah, I have been using this a lot. Um, before I got this, I was using my phone as a flashlight. It does have a nice feature where I just shake it, and the, it'll turn on and shake it, and it'll turn off. But I like to use my phone as a phone. I don't like using my phone as a watch or a flashlight. I use it. Those are two things that I do use it for frequently, but I do not like to use it for frequently. Um... But now I have this, I use this a lot more than my phone, and it's wonderful. Only time I use my phone is if I don't have this, and this is in my pocket with my knife. And a couple times this has, they have, the knife has triggered the button and turned the flashlight on. And so I'll look, only a couple times really. And so I'll look down and my pocket's glowing a little bit. But they sit in there nice and happy, and they sit quite well. And the paint is wearing as expected, just a little bit on some of the more prominent edges. But <laughs> three months for one double A, that's really good. And with pretty regular use. Um, my bedroom has basically one lamp that we use, and it's... Uh, I, I love overhead lighting, but we don't have that in my bedroom. And I actually use this in my bedroom quite a lit, quite a lot. And I'll actually use the full 130 lumens quite frequently because I do use this in the day a lot. But at nighttime, it is much easier to use the 5 lumens. It's more useful at night. Same for the 30. 
160 lumens, sorry. <clears throat> but I do use it very frequently. But three months for one AA, and that is really good with frequent use. I'm going to go ahead and slide this clip around. I love the versatility of this clip. I have not used it to its fullest yet, but I wear ball cap frequently, and so this will get used eventually. This light does not have the uh, clear-cut edges as the other one does. Most flashlights do not have the clear-cut edges. But <clears throat> this, I did notice as I was opening the packaging, because I was really excited when I saw it, a small flashlight. I was like, sweet, let's open this up and get using it. <laughs> but it said something about... Um, like car headlight technology, and I don't see that anywhere. It does say maximum distance is 68 meters. All right, so here's some stats on it. You can pause it if you really want to look at it, but. But what I was looking for was that submersible. It's got an IP of 68. I'll have to look what that is, what that means, and put it out on the screen. But it looks like it can survive a little bit underwater at least. And again, I couldn't find anything on this flashlight, so I don't know exactly how waterproof or resistant it is, but it's worked at least getting hosed down a little bit for me. Let's go ahead and change the batteries on this real quick. Actually, just a moment. All right, this is as dark as I can get it. I have a window that way that does not have darkening curtains. So, five lumens. Hee <laughs> hee. What, 30, 32, and 160. And then this one, I don't know how many lumens. Okay, I forgot that it does actually have some bleed out, but that is a very clear cut edge compared to most flashlights. And I really like that about this flashlight. All right, let's change this real quick. These are new batteries. All the old ones were Panasonic. These are mixed. And it, with the um, grips here, it does make screwing it open and shut really easy. And I did test these batteries before starting recording, so I know they're good. Hmm. The other batteries actually look like they're still pretty good. So I'll probably put those old batteries back in just because they're still good. <laughs> but... This doesn't work very well during the day. This one works when I need it to during the day because it does go up to that 160. So the variability on this one is wonderful. Uh, this has just a pretty nice basic light. Again, I'm going to be putting this back in a car so that I can be sure I have a light when I need a flashlight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end it there, um, but actually, real quick, one of the old batteries. Still good. And here's the one for the... Yeah, so that's still showing good, but it, that pretty much is only handling the five lumens for this one. I'd jump it up and as you would see it would be shutting off anytime I used more than that. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and like, share, or, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.